Hi, it's Dave Radcliffe with the Radcliffe Group at Keller Williams Realty Southwest. And today, uh, in our continuing series of just education regarding real estate, I want to discuss, uh, it's a sad situation, death. It's going to happen to all of us. And what happens to your real estate in the event that you or a loved one passes away? Can you give us a little idea of how we would best help clients with those kind of issues? Absolutely. And unfortunately, Dave is right. Death is something that happens to all of us. And... It doesn't mean it's the end of the road for your real estate. It lives on. I want to talk about a couple different situations. One, if you inherit the property based on death, and then two, like if your spouse dies or if your co-borrower dies on the loan, something like that. Those are difficult things. How do you, say you inherit the property, what do you do in that event? Well, let's stick to the theme that we've been kind of talking about in terms of short sales on these. Obviously, if it's a different situation, if there's equity in the home, you can contact somebody like Dave and he can help you out for sure. In a short sale situation, meaning when the property is less, worth less than what is owed on it, it's not really an asset. Okay, so what can you do? You get title to the property, you don't owe any money on it, technically you're not on the loan, so you don't want to pay for it, right? You can let it go to foreclosure, you can forget about it, and then you have this whole headache of, well, do they foreclose? Are you still on title? Do you have to pay the property taxes? Do you have to pay the HOA? If somebody breaks into the house and falls down the stairs, what do you do? My suggestion is, like anything else, you take action. You get it out from underneath you. You short sell the property. You just put it in the past. Unfortunately, it's not an asset. It's something that you have to deal with, so just get rid of it contact us about those kind of issues. Now, now, what if you don't inherit it and, God forbid, your spouse dies? What now? Well, that is um, one of the classic hardships when people submit the paperwork and whatnot. That's one of them that's always included, you know, death, divorce, uh, reduction in income, things like that. Obviously, if there's two people on the loan, it took two incomes to qualify for it. So you can go to your bank and you can say, unfortunately, well, probably be a little bit more heartfelt than that, but unfortunately, I can no longer afford the home because the co-borrower passed away, what are my options? And one of them, if your house is upside down, is a short sale. Yeah, contact us about these things, and, and we understand what you're going through uh, and do handle these kinds of situations. So call me on the phone, go to my website uh, for information. We'd love to talk to you and help you through those difficult times. Thank you for watching.